exquisite specimen of uh, calcite and cuprite from the, the famous deposit for the red cuprites, the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Now here we have a pretty large section of cuprite sitting on this almost a red calcite. It appears red. Now I suspect what, what's causing the coloration of the calcite would be either iron oxides trapped inside it or could be chalcotrichite which is closely, it's actually a member of the, the cuprite family. So it could be chalcotrichite trapped inside there. Now these uh, 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 cuprites with very bright lighting, they're actually gem red see-through. So these are the famous red cuprites from Mashamba. These aren't, this isn't an exceptionally well, you could actually say it's almost one crystal. It's all interlaced. Uh, it's, it's got the, almost the inverted botroid uh, formation, which I call it, um, where, where the botroid, instead of going out, goes in. Of course, a lot of the, the pyramidal uh, effect of the, of the cuprite, as we see here, the little cuprite pyramids there, this is not contact. That's actually the inverted botroid. I have sawn the specimen because uh, the fracture zone, funny enough, on this material runs lengthwise like that. So what happens when you trim it, uh, uh, most, most possibly the cuprite would jump off. So I thought rather, rather saw it so I can pretty much control the the uh, the form of the specimen and really this this one came out exquisitely nice you have i mean you don't see anything except the cuprites on this really lovely piece all the way from mashamba west i don't have a lot of this material with the red cuprites so really an absolute rarity